Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? You are finding the value of x. Here, let's rewrite this as 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2 divided by 2, minus 2 raised to the power x, also raised to the power 2 over 2, which is equal to 65. Here, this is still the same thing with what we are given because 2 over 2 here is 1 and 2 over 2 here is 1. Then from here, we can rewrite this in another way. Since this power multiply, we take this 2 inside and we are going to have 3 raised to the power x over 2. Then raised to the power 2 minus same thing here, we have 2 raised to the power x over 2, then raised to the power 2 which is equal to 65 and from here we can use a letter to represent 3 raised to the power x over 2 so let a be equal to 3 raised to the power x over 2 and let b be equal to 2 raised to the power x over 2 then we write this again in terms of a and b we have a squared minus b squared equals to 65 then we have this to be in form difference of two squares and we have a plus b then multiply by a minus b which is equal to 65 and uh, we can write 65 as 13 times 5 so we say a plus b multiply by a minus b equals to 13 times 5 and uh, from here a plus b is expected to be greater than a minus b so therefore we can say that a plus b is equals to 13 because 13 is greater than 5 and uh, we say a minus b should be equal to 5 and from these two equations here, we can eliminate b by adding the two equations. And this will give us a plus a, that's 2a, equals to 13 plus 5, we give us 18. And from here, we solve for a, divide both sides by 2, a will be equal to 9 from here. And also, we can get b from here. By using one of these equations, this is the first one, we have a plus b equals to 13 and we can say b equals to 13 minus a and a is 9. So we have b equals to 13 minus 9 and here we have b to be equals to 4 and from what we use to represent, you know, a, we have a to be 3 raised to the power x over 2. So we we'll bring that down here. We have 3 raised to the power x over 2, which is a. 3 raised to the power x over 2, then equals to 9. Also, we have v to be equals to 2 raised to the power x over 2. So we bring that down here as well. Then we have b, which is 2 raised to the power x over 2, is equals to 4. So from here, we can write 9 as base 3 as well. So we have 3 raised to the power x over 2 equals to 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. Then we have the same base here. Then we can equate the power. Then we have x over 2 equals to 2. And this 2 over 1, crossing multiply. x times 1, that's x equals to 2 times 2. And from here, we have 2 times 2 to be equal to 4. So, x is equal to 4. And when we check from this side as well, we have 4 can be written as 2 squared. We have 2 raised to the power x over 2 equals to 2 raised to the power 2. Then, the base are equal as well. We have x over 2 equals to 2. And this is over 1. Also, the same thing here. We have cross multiply. We have x now equals to 2 times 2. And we say x equals to 4. So either way from here, x equals to 4. And we can check from what we have to confirm if the solution satisfies the equation given. 
So we put x equals to 4 here. That means we have 3 raised to power 4 minus 2 raised to power 4. If this equals to 65, then we have 3 raised to power 4. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that will give us 81. Then minus 2 raised to power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that will give us 16. If this equals to 65, and when we subtract here, we discover that 81 minus 16 will be 65, which is equal to 65. The left hand side equals to the right hand side there. Then we can conclude from here that x is equal to 4 is the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class. And bye for now.